Yeah, the last fire that happened, and it was after our story, was right here where I'm standing. You can see the spot. Luckily, it did not spread to the weeds over here and to the dry brush into homes and businesses, but it did destroy the car. And yes, there is video and what looks like a suspect. Take a good look at this. Watch on your screen as a person on a bicycle rides past the dark vehicle, comes back and stops right next to it. Keep your eye on it. Watch what happens as the fire begins and the bicyclist takes off. One of my coworkers said, oh, look at the car, it's on fire. That's the owner of the car who wants his name off the record. Photos show police and fire responding to the blaze. The aftermath, though, is sobering, if important, in what was found. The fire fire? They, uh, they, they found a bottom inside the engine. And then he came, the guy came on the bicycle. He just stopped, we saw the stop, and he got a bottom and dropped on the front of the car. Arson investigators now have this video. Ironically, the fire began half a block away from where LAPD was meeting with residents after our Fox 11 story ran this week. To confirm, they were helping LA City Fire investigate a rash of vehicle arson fires in the area. Within just a couple hours of the meeting, we had another car fire, this time in the middle of the day. Not even a block away? Or? It was like literally a block away. What did police say when they talked to you guys at the meeting? Well, they said it was 15 cars, and now we hear it's more like 30 cars, so the number keeps changing. L.A. City fire officials tell us they are investigating at least 20 confirmed arson fires between February and May, all different types of vehicles owned by people like this man who truly depend on them. You know, it's very hard because, you know, I mean, it was, you know, like just the transportation, you know, people doing these kind of things. It's you not, depend on that car. Yeah, I mean, it's, to not, go to the, work? it's not the value of the, the, you know, the thing, but. It's not the value, it's the fact that he can't go to work now. And it's, it's, it's just really sad, and it's a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. So on our website at foxla.com, I have put a link to that fire investigators gave to us. They could use some help in this. So if you know something, please reach out to them. Let's see if we can get this person stopped. Live in Sunland, Tahunga, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you in the studio.